Ever since he was young, Diego Renteria had a passion for boxing. I started boxing when I was a kid, uh, around nine years old. Ever since I first started, uh, I really loved it, you know? And I was passionate about it. That was My goal was to become a professional athlete. That was my, my, my main goal. So I, I was dedicated towards that. I was out there, I used to take the bus to, to the gym because my parents were at work. So I used to go out there uh, as a little kid, um, go to practice, everything. But after four years of pursuing this sport, Diego was diagnosed with osteochondritis desiccans from too much impact on his knee and his boxing career came to a sudden halt. So I had to take a full year off where I couldn't do any sports and as an athlete that, that likes to do a lot of exercise, that kind of was, it was hard for me though, going through that time. Diego knew that in order to achieve his lifelong goal of becoming a professional athlete, he would have to go big into a lower impact sport or go home. So I, I just decided to pick up golf and that same, that same mentality of training and everything that I had in boxing, I transferred that over to golf. Diego decided to dedicate all of his time and effort into mastering this new sport. Diego's work ethic, when you, when you talk about somebody, I, I work here at Vista, and any day I come in they'll say, hey, Diego is here today working on this, hey, Diego is here yesterday. Um, he's a guy that will do anything he can to get to the next level. I want to be the best I possibly can be. I want to be, if I have the opportunity, I'm going to be as good as I possibly can. I want to, I want to prove to myself that I'm, I'm capable of doing this, you know, I'm, I'm capable of pushing it to the next level. I just want to see the improvement. I want to see every day where I'm just getting better. I want to see what my, the best version of me is, you know. He has one thing in mind, and the one thing in mind is he's going to go big. What I mean by big is he's going to make it. He's going to make it some way, somehow. So Diego's hard work has resulted in numerous colleges taking an interest in him. However, he was faced with yet another setback he will have to overcome in order to make it big. Out of nowhere, I got this uh, injury in my wrist. Uh, I tore the ECU tendon, and it kind of just stopped my whole world, everything that was going on. I've been training for this, uh, working hard for this moment, you know, getting signed by college and everything, and then now I'm injured here. And it's just another setback, you know? The only thing I can do now is work on recovering and getting back to my original state of being fully healthy so I can start competing again. Despite these obstacles, Diego continues to strive for greatness and give his all to golf. If golf is my only option, uh, the only sport I can play, then I'm, I'm going to give it my all and I'm going to go big. I didn't let my knee injury stop me, and I'm not going to let my wrist injury stop me either. If you have a passion for something, just go for it, you know? And don't let trials or any setbacks stop you. If, if you really want something, uh, don't give up, you know? It's got to keep pushing. If you want it, go get it. For Western TV, this has been Riley Flynn reporting.